guys, it's Cameron from Mama Needs Chocolate, and today is box day for me. I get a box of Young Living products every month, and today was my day I finally got it in. This is my order from September. There was a little bit of backlog, but they finally got it to me. It was worth the wait, and I am about to show you what I got. Quiet God, He hardly ever says a thing. But if I listen close, I sometimes hear Him whispering. Now, I plan on doing a series of videos regarding essential oils, how my family got started on them, kind of the, the story behind how we found ourselves where we are today, um, but to make a very um, lengthy uh, commentary on it condensed, um, we got involved because I have always um, appreciated any kind of natural remedy that we can find. Um, the Lord has provided so much for us to keep our health uh, in check and um, I don't um, forego any, you know, um, you know, traditional, I guess you could call it, um, medical treatment. We definitely use medications if we need to. We definitely see a doctor. Um, but if there is a first line of defense I can use or something I can do to maintain my health and it is a natural uh, way to go, that is definitely what I prefer to do. Um, okay. Sippy cup has been handed over, crisis averted. So, as I was saying, um, we like natural remedies when available or to help us maintain our health. Um, we've used several uh, different brands of oils over the years, and we finally settled on one that seems to be most effective for us not saying that all other oil companies out there are bad or evil or anything just saying the brand that has been most effective for us that we have appreciated the use of and have grown our collection uh, the largest with this brand is Young Living Essential Oil uh, brand um, I have had some problems in the past as well as uh, our family has had some problems in the past with oils that are not truly 100% essential oils that come in a bottle. Um, just as a kind of quick heads up in case you were not aware, just as a bottle of fluid can be labeled juice, as long as there's 5% juice in that bottle and the rest is filler and flavor and artificial things in it, a bottle of oil can be considered essential oil if it has only 5% oil in it and the rest can be fragrance and filler. So, on that note, we have had to be very uh, careful with trying out different brands because there are sensitivities to uh, synthetic fragrances and also um, just not being powerful enough um, because in their own right, they can be extremely powerful. The water went the wrong pipe. Oh, I'm so sorry. <coughs> It's going to be okay. It'll feel better in just a minute. So, my family did get started with Young Living, and it has been the most effective, the most, um, the one that has just gone over best with our family. Um, and I... Tell them that you're with the bottle. I bet they saw it. It's okay. Um... And I do have a membership, um, which is something I can talk about in another video. And I am going to link below. I, I almost fell down. Oh, no. I am going to link below uh, the link for all the different, uh, just the Young Living um, website in general, as well as a few extra little things I'm just going to talk about. Um, but instead of getting into the long, drawn-out process of how my family came to where they are now with oils, um, and what finally sold me on Young Living, I thought I would show you what came in this month's box as well as um, follow up each month because I do get monthly orders. It's called Essential Rewards. Can I, can I get the oil team? You want to hand oils to me? Okay, come sit over here. I'm going to need your oil help. 
Ball. You can be my oil helper. Uh-oh. Um, but I do get monthly shipments. This one should have come in September. Of course, it's uh, the 1st of October now. And I am free Yes, you are. Um, and there was a little bit of a hold up just because they are growing by leaps and bounds. Um, so that's why I'm a little late getting this one in, which is not typical of them. And they're working to make sure that that gap gets closed in quickly. Um, so when I get October's box, hopefully inside of the month of October, and then that'll give you two videos for this month, and then hopefully only one every month after that. So, yeah. yeah. Can you hand this to me? This? This. So if you sign up and you get essential rewards, or if you already do, then you already know about this. Each and it's month, like a newspaper, too. It is. It's their newsletter, and we get this, <laughs> and it just kind of gives us a... Um, heads up as to what's yeah, going on with gives, Young Living. Yeah, it give us a heads up. Yes. Okay. And then um, we will get into my orders. This is Raven. And this hat, and when you order an oil, or when you get an order of oils and you get some freebies, they typically uh, send you a card with it to kind of give you some information on the oil. Um, and we already have a bottle of this, but it's nice to have an extra one. It does have a childproof cap on it, which is going to mean it has wintergreen in it. And it does, I'm going to read off the blend. It is lemon, peppermint, wintergreen, eucalyptus, radiata, and uh, raven Sarah oils all put together in a blend. Um, this is a good one to diffuse. It smells wonderful. All but two of the oils that I have gotten from Young Living to me smell great. And we'll get to that um, another day. Um, it's also good. My family uses this. We have put it on our chest when we are congested or coughing, and it helps a lot. Um, but I was coughing. I know. Do you need oils? Yeah. So we like this one a lot. Another good oil. Um, ah, I probably shouldn't get into this right now, though. Um, I'll save that for another video. Anyway, so Raven is a freebie that I got in my box for this month. Do you want to hand me something else, assistant helper? Okay, another freebie I got, which was amazing because we <laughs> use this oil all the time, is peppermint. Peppermint, yeah. We love, love peppermint. peppermint. <laughs> I love peppermint. I love peppermint. Yeah, I know. It <laughs> smells, of course, very, very yummy. We love to diffuse this in the house. It kind of... <laughs> makes everything smell nice and sweet and crisp and clean. Uh, if you diffuse it in an area that might be prone to ants or spiders, they hate peppermint. They will leave the area. I have diffused this multiple times for that purpose. Um, mommy has to put, mommy has to put that peppermint on the ants. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we have used this for detox baths, we have used this for headaches, we have used this for, again, chest congestion, sinus congestion, uh, muscle aches. <laughs> this is a hot oil, um, so you, you need to be careful with it, um, but we use this oil seriously on almost a daily basis. Okay. So. The last of my freebies was a box of Thieves and Lavender Samples. There's 10 packets. I love them. I love them. <laughs> There's 10 samples in each box, and each sample has about six drops of oil. So these are good to carry in your purse, in your diaper bag, if you want to hand them to somebody who is interested in oils and doesn't <laughs> know much about them. This is a good way to do it. We use thieves just for general health purposes, and we have these. Mommy, look. I can almost touch the quad. All right. We use it, the Thieves hand sanitizer, we use the Thieves home cleaner, we use the Thieves uh, foaming hand wash, Thieves spray, we use Thieves and we put it on the bottoms of our feet. I can go on and on about Thieves and it smells wonderful. It has cinnamon and clove in it. We diffuse it a lot. And then lavender, um, I th I'll get into more down the road, um, but we use it quite a bit as well. So the next thing we got are these Thieves Throat Lozenges. My huh? husband my husband gets strep throat almost every uh, fall or winter, like clockwork. When the weather turns cold, he wakes up with a tickle in his throat by noon. He has a fever, and by dinner time, he has full-blown strep. And so we got these to help him with his throat. Um, there is 30 uh, lozenges in a bag. 
and it has uh, a few different oils in it. I think it's six. Do I remember right? Yes, six uh, oils in it, one of them being Thieves, and so that's going to be really nice to have on hand. So I ordered a pack of five product guides, which their product guides are available online, but I went ahead and got these for different family members that are uh, interested in the oil and um, that are wanting... Mommy, I go get a toy quick. Sure. That are wanting more specific information on oils for their Can personal... You your excuse. Um, health issues. This is going to be a crazy video. Um, so anyway, I got these so that I can make notations for each person that's interested and make kind of a custom um, product guide for each member that's interested in oils. That way they can look through, see everything for themselves, and then be able to see notations that I put off to the side that say, hey, this would be good for this um, health issue. Yeah. Um, so the next one I have is orange. Um, I love anything citrusy. I thought that that would be a great one to have on hand for aromatherapy therapy Mommy, purposes. I love um, wearing citrus Mommy, oil um, on my skin. It's just Mommy, uplifting, very clean. Thank you. And then I also thought just diffusing that with thieves in the Mommy, fall because of that it? cinnamon and clove. That's orange. Would smell mm. really, really yummy in the house. Can I see that one? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Um, the next one that I specifically ordered, um, and this is a blend, is M Grain. And like you can probably tell from the name of it, uh, M Grain is an oil that you can use if you suffer from migraines, which I do. My husband does. I'm going to sleep in the, in the pillow for tonight. Oh, you think so? Uh -huh. We'll chat about that. Um, anyway, this is a good oil to have if you suffer from headaches on a regular basis, which. Um, Unfortunately, I do, so I wanted to go ahead and grab this oil. Now, the last thing that I ordered, now the, the um, last thing I ordered um, is something that I had one, and we had it for not even a full two months before I started running out. Um, and so instead of going through and ordering different ones individually, because the name of it is very true to itself. I just went ahead and ordered a whole nother kit, and that is, um, and this is what the box looks like, the cover on the box of it. And it is the Everyday Oils. Hey, Abby. It has turned into a truly family affair. So, as I was saying, uh, the last thing I ordered was the Essential Reward, or the Essential Rewards, the Everyday Oils. Um, and this has frankincense, lavender, lemon, peppermint, joy, pan away, peace and calming, purification, thieves, and valor. Valor. Um, we have a valor fan. Do we have a valor fan in the bag? Um, this is a good, if I had to suggest any kit. Okay. If I had peppermints. Yes. Do you like peppermint oil? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I I know because I've already opened it. If there was anything I had to suggest to a, a new mm -hmm. member or person interested in essential oils, the everyday oils kit would be where I would suggest getting started. If you are new to oils, um, another great resource that this kit provides is it does come with an everyday essential intro to essential oils booklet and it covers each oil that is in the kit and I'm going to show you what they are. There is 10 of them. The first oil in the kit is lemon and it is absolutely one of my favorites. I, like I said with the orange, I love citrusy scents. I like to wear this one on my skin. I don't even wear perfume anymore. Yeah. Um, the only thing with citrus oils is you have to be careful. They do tend to be photosensitive on your skin, so don't put them on and then go out tanning or anything. Um, we love using this one. This is a good one to help if you have um, a lot of mucus in your system. It's good to diffuse. It smells really yummy. Um, like I said, I wear it as a perfume. There's a gazillion uh, ways you can use this oil. Um, I could make hour-long videos about oils if um, somebody let me. The next one up is frankincense, which my children also enjoy this one because it makes them think about baby Jesus. 
And uh, this is another really good one for your health. It smells really yummy. We have used this one on cuts and, and bites and things to help with keeping them clean. So that's another good one that we enjoy. Uh, we have purification. I call this Neosporin in a bottle. Uh, this is another one, kind of like frankincense. We use this one quite a bit if we have cuts, scrapes, bites, anything like that. My kids splashed a ton of water all over the carpet in the master bathroom um, and of course no matter how well we tried to clean it it started to smell pretty nasty pretty quickly and we diffused purification and it smelled first of all it smells fabulous um, but it not only helped make the area smell better while it was diffusing but it helped rid our room of what was making it smell bad and so it hasn't smelled nasty since then. Are you hijacking all my oils? Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Um, another one is Thieves which I talked earlier because I got some packets of it. I have another bottle this size that I don't believe we've even opened yet as well as a larger bottle. We love Thieves. It smells really yummy. It has cinnamon and clove in it. Um, I'm trying to remember everything that's in it. I don't remember right off the very top of my head. But this is so good. Don't we put it the toothpaste. Oh, yes, and we have Thieves toothpaste. Thank you, son. I totally forgot. We have several things with Thieves in it. It is so good for your health. It is like anti-everything, um, but it does not disturb the balance in your um, of good bacteria in your body. Oh, yes. We didn't get it this month, but the kids do have the Kids Sense Sleek Toothpaste, and they've even named this little orange critter on the toothpaste tube. Um, so we use these a lot. We use it on the soles of their feet. Um, if we're going to go into an area where they might um, be around a lot of germs, we can put it on our throats if we're starting to have a sore throat. I diffuse it. Um, it's just so good. We're down to one. So the next oil is lavender. This is a family favorite. Um, we actually had run out and it was like a crisis in our family. This is great. We have used it along with um, cedarwood and vetiver to help with ADD. We have diffused this during school time to help with calming. Uh, we have used this on bug bites. If you, follow me, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see pictures of this little one. Um, who had a rash breakout on her feet and we used uh, lemon peppermint and lavender um, to clear it up very quickly and also bug bites. This helps a lot with that. So if you have any kind of skin irritation, uh, burns, we've used this on sunburns and burns when I hurt myself on the stove or oven. This one is really, really good. Another one uh, that comes in the Everyday Oils Kit is Joy. It's a blend of oils. It has rose in it so it smells really beautiful. I have worn this one in place of perfume before as well. I have diffused it on days that uh, we have some cranky people in the house. It's just a really nice oil to have handy. Another one is I did get a bottle of uh, peppermint in the Everyday Oils Kit, so I now have two extra bottles of peppermint. Um, and I just bought one from a friend when we ran out. Um, she had an extra one on hand, so I bought it from her. So we now have a few bottles of peppermint. We do use this every single day. Peppermint is a good driving oil. So if you use it with layering oils, this one will always be the last one. It helps drive other oils deeper into your skin. And it's also a hot oil, so be careful with it. Um, and we use this again, so many things. We use this uh, together with this one every single night on my husband and this one is pan away it has winter green in it so again child proof cap um, and we use this he has severe neck pain every night by the time he gets home from work just from having long work days and an hour commute to work and back home um, and often very crazy traffic so we will put on pan away and then we put peppermint on top and we put it on his neck and he just really enjoys it. it helps lower his pain by quite a bit it's kind of like all natural icy hot um and uh 
I have used it as well on my neck when I start to get headaches. I'll put it on and it helps. My stepmother suffers from fibromyalgia and uh, she was complaining of pain while we were on a family vacation and I asked her if she would do the honor of allowing me to put some oil on her. Um, and I think she was one of the least skeptical people in my family about whales. I used this on her and she was blown away. I actually used this and I also used frankincense, which is good for uh, people that have uh, fibromyalgia. So we did that and she said there was a huge difference in the pain levels. Um, she felt so much better. Um, another one is Peace and Calming. Uh, diffuse this one. I put it on my uh, little ones if they're having a stressful day, they're bouncing around, or they're worried about something. Uh, maybe daddy's traveling for work or something and they're a little worried about them. We'll just use diffuse it. It smells wonderful. We diffuse this during school time, put it on them um, to help them stay calm if I'm going to have a rough day and I know it. Um, especially if it's, you know, I'm not going to lie, if it's that time of the month and, you know, my PMS is kicking in, I will definitely use Peace and Calming to help kind of keep me even keeled. And then the last oil, are you having just a bunch of fun playing with the oil? No. Do you love oil? Are you trying to hide it from me? I can tell. <laughs> Where did my oil go? Do you have my oil? Do I get to have it back? No? Okay. And the last one we have is Valor. You can only get it right now through the Everyday Oils collection. However, hopefully soon they will be able to sell it um, by itself again. And this is a good one. <laughs> it's a good one to have if you've got, again, maybe some anxiety. It kind of helps. I still have one. It kind of helps uh, give them a little bit more courage. It's another good one to do maybe the first day of school or a new project or being around new people. Um, if they're going to have to take a test, it's a good one to use. So that's my order for this, well, I would say for this month, it's October. For September, I need to fix your hair, it's crazy, sister. Um, um, and then just quickly, um, if you are new to oils, and I will go over this more in another video. Um, these are not available, th well, this first thing is, I'll do this first. Um, I have oil bottle cap labels, and if I can steal one from my oil thief. Haha! -ha! These are really nice because they actually go on the, late, the top of your oil bottles. So if you have them stacked up, you can just look down and see which oil it is. You don't have to dig around. So um, it has 208 bottle cap labels. They do have, um, there are some that I haven't been able to find a label for, but it is very few and far between. Um, and this is just a huge, huge help. Um, and then these two are really great. I would highly recommend them. I got them from Amazon. Thank you. Mwah. I will link them below. And the first one is the Essential Oils Pocket Reference from Life Science Publishing. It, it is geared towards young living oils. It lets you know about each oil. And what I enjoy about it is you can look something up by oil or you can look something up by medical condition. And it will give you suggestions for oils to use for that. Um, and then another one that I find truly interesting, and it's um, a very slow read because I'm constantly going back and rereading paragraphs and highlighting and underlining quite a bit, is this Healing Oils of the Bible by David Stewart, a uh, PhD. I'm going to give him credit. He had to work hard for that PhD, I'm sure. Um, and this is just a truly, truly interesting book. And it breaks down a lot of the scientific things about how essential oils work, how the Lord provided them for us, why they are so effective. Um, and then the oils that were most uh, common during scripture, the time that scripture was being written, and during uh, biblical times, and what they were used for then. So this is an amazing book as well. So I should be getting another shipment, hopefully about the middle of October, I will do another box day. Um, most uh, shipments are not quite this size. This was just an unusually large uh, one. Uh, but I did want to share, I was really excited to get it. Like I said, it's definitely worth the wait. We love Young Living. I, I 
at this rate, cannot imagine using any other oil uh, for our family. And as you can see, even my, my two-year-old loves her oils. She has come in before, oil me, mommy, oil me. And if I can't, if I give her what oils I think would be good for that day and she still wants more, she'll start making up reasons. Oh, I have a boo-boo. Oh, I have a cough. Um, so she can get more oil. So we are definitely an oily family. And I will go through my full collection and explain what I use each one for soon. So I hope you are having a great day. Again, I'm going to link below the link to Young Living's website and the links for the two books, Healing Oils of the Bible, as well as the Essential Oils Pocket Reference. If you have any questions about essential oils, especially Young Living, please feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them for you. I hope you have been able to hang there with me with this crazy family adventure of Box Day and my crazy kids. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you don't mind, you can show that like button some love. And if you aren't already, you can go ahead and click subscribe so that you never miss any Mama Needs chocolate goodness. I come to you with videos as often as I can about all things Mama Needs chocolate. So that's gonna be homeschooling and life and cooking and everything else. You can also see the links where you can catch up with me on Facebook, my blog, as well as Instagram. So I hope to see y'all around. Bye. Which oil is your favorite? My tummy. Your tummy? No. You have them down there? They're all your favorites? You don't have that extra special favorite one? Which one do you like? The, all of them. <laughs> Are you silly? Do you like oils? my oil? Do I get to ever have them back? No? Yeah. What if I say please? Please. Pretty please. Pretty please with a cherry on top. What if I give you a kiss? I got one. My oil. My oil. Mm. I got another one. <laughs> Jackpot. Oh, I got four more. Pan away, two peppermints, and a lavender. Here, we're gonna go in here. Oh. <laughs>